Okay then, hello everybody, this is the Epic Game Guru, and this time I got some fantastic, if not absolutely amazing good news when it comes to both the channel and a bunch of other stuff that has happened, and who knows what I have to talk about on this entire video, because I have a lot to discuss and very little time to do it. I'm gonna try to make this video as short as physically possible, but that might not be the case because of all the stuff that I've missed throughout the past couple of days, and a bunch of other crazy stuff that has happened throughout the past couple of months, and I do mean past couple of months because I have not been on here on YouTube or making video content for such a long period of time and I think all of you may have noticed that over time. In fact it's been so long that YouTube's actually changed a couple of things on their guidelines without me even noticing. A lot of the stuff that I've been trying to keep track of has changed and I have to be 100% honest even I didn't expect such great graduate change to happen on this platform alone. That in itself deserves to be in its own discussion video but if you all haven't heard the guidelines have been reverted back to being allowing people to have demon monetized videos possibly be reinstated with monetization and it's going to allow youtubers to be able to make content without worrying about stuff on the platform hindering their actual well money in other words yeah i can't really shorten that up in any other possible way if youtube were to bring back the dislike ratio once again to be able to be shown that would be amazing and i think the entire platform would be going back to its original roots which is something i would never expect this platform to do i would highly recommend that anybody who tried making return of content that was a little bit more vulgar and whatever should come back into the platform itself i feel like these new changes that they did are actually perfectly well balanced for youtube and the idea of not needing to worry about about the actual demonetization or possible age restriction a little bit at least less on the platform is something that I really do welcome as a beautiful change because there were times where it was just really overdone and I'm glad that they decided to revert back to a normal type of guidelines instead of making things incredibly confusing as they used to. There's plenty of videos talking about the reverted guidelines and honestly I do appreciate the whole new change with it. I think this is a very well done and welcome addition to YouTube and quite frankly it's going to make things a little bit less frustrating for most content creators if not all content creators and anything they could do to get favor into the community side of YouTube is going to be able to welcome in new users and new creators onto the platform. So overall well done on the change in spite of me saying all that there were a little bit of some subtle hints that i was dropping here or there that i was going to return back as a full-fledged content creator since i have been working really hard on trying to get a licensing done to be able to actually drive commercial vehicles in real life yes i, I I'm not making that up. All this education, all these skills I have, and plenty of other things that I have in my pocket, and I still couldn't land a job today. Gotta say, man, job market's hard out there. But enough talking about things that are getting a little bit more or less off topic. I'm here to talk about everything else that's happening here on the channel, both on YouTube and my live streaming channel. When it comes to things that are happening with both my streaming and my content and everything else included, I do have to throw this out there that I did completely move out of Trovo and decide to just permanently add myself onto Twitch. Now, that is going to lead into a lot of questions questioning as to why I decided to make such a very important decision to be able to move from one platform back to an original one. And I simply have to put it like this. Trovo is not exactly the most friendliest when it comes to streaming content on there. Even if you're just a viewer, you could probably try to figure out instantly that there's something a little bit sketchy about the platform. In fact, most of my videos and clips were deleted off of freaking Trovo without even my say so. I did not delete any of my clips on Trovo. I did not delete any of my video content on Trovo. I did not move any of my video or clip content onto a different platform all because I had no idea that they were going to obscurely put in a change that was basically going to make it impossible for a content creator to be found on that platform in general. Why they decided to start deleting old past VODs or why they started to delete past clips I do not understand. VODs I would understand a little bit more because those do generally take up a lot of space on an online server but clips themselves are usually very short and don't require that much space in general so I'm a bit surprised that Trovo decided to go down this route where you're basically forced to continuously stream on the platform and remember to download every single little thing you had on there. That's not the only thing that I have to discuss about when it comes to Trovo. I did make a video in the past discussing this already so if you want to check that out it is available here on my channel's discussions. Aside of me making the jump backwards into Twitch, I do have to mention right now that Twitch has made a decent amount of updates that made me want to return. There was a couple of things that they've learned off of Trovo, believe it or not, to be able to make their platform even better. Now payments are down from $50 requirement to be able to receive a paycheck off of Twitch, which I think is an absolutely fantastic and welcome addition to the website itself. And things are moving along very smoothly with Twitch as well as a little bit of change of guidelines themselves. However, it's not enough to make me go crazy and be like, oh, okay, well, I guess 
guess they learned from a couple of things in the past, but it is what it is, and I can't really argue with a website that's been around for years and is learning from its competitors and is learning to become better just as much as YouTube is. For the last portion of this video, because I am starting to get a little bit burnt out here because I feel like I'm on broken record when it comes to things, I have not even mentioned when I'm going to be permanently returning onto YouTube itself. Although streaming is possible for me to do a little bit more frequently when I have a little bit of free time, making videos and editing themselves requires a bit of some manual labor, and I do mean a lot of manual labor. Sometimes I will even spend more than a day or two working and editing a video depending on the contents within the video. I did have to quickly flush this one out for you guys just to be able to make this one happen really quickly. I am just pointing out a little bit of some more important news here and there and I will be returning back in about I would say a flush two to three weeks. Now whether or not I'm going to be able to do this quickly enough it really completely depends on how fast I can get things done. I'm near the edge of finishing everything in my life thankfully and I should be able to be able to get things done a little bit quicker for both YouTube content and streaming content as a whole. Either way guys this has been the Epic Game Guru. I will return soon just give me a little bit of time to do so and I'll see you all next time.